Hi everyone, welcome to Little Languages. I'm Megan from Ballarat Libraries. I'm glad you could join me today. I wonder where we're going to travel to. Let's start with our acknowledgement of country. Here is the sun. Here is the earth. Here are my friends. And here am I. We acknowledge the traditional owners of the land on which we play and learn. Great work, everyone. Let's do our hot hello song, patting our knees and clapping our hands. What do you think my name is? I wonder if you know. My name is Megan. Hello, 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 hello. Your turn now. Are you ready? What do you think my name is? I wonder if you know. Your name is... Shout them out. Hello, 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 hello. Great job, everyone. Give yourselves a clap. Let's start off with a song. Who knows Patter Cake, Patter Cake, Baker's Man? Let's pat our knees and clap our hands again. You ready? Patter Cake, Patter Cake, Baker's Man. Bake me a cake as fast as you can. Pat it and prick it and mark it with B and put it in the oven for baby and me. Well done. Great work, everyone. Give yourselves a clap. Let's stand up and sing the song we sing before we open our suitcase to find out where we are travelling to today. Are you ready? Marching and swinging our arms. Quick, 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 we're going on a trip. Zip, 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 we're going very quick. Are you ready? Please get set. Climb aboard my jumbo jet. Five, four, three, two, one. Blast off! Great work. All right, let's open our magic suitcase and see where we're going. item out of the suitcase are licorice coins. Do you like licorice? Usually you might have a stick of licorice. So it's got a very strong taste and it's usually black. So these are licorice coins from the country we're travelling to today. What's next? Here we have a doll in the traditional costume of the country we're travelling to today. She's got a black dress and an apron on and a bib and a special bonnet. Hmm, I wonder if you can guess where we're travelling to today. Let's find out. We'll get our flag out. Here it is. Today we are travelling to the Netherlands. Have you heard of that before? The Netherlands? It's sometimes also called Holland. This is the Netherlands flag. It's got what colour up the top? Blue. What colour in the middle? White. And what colour down the bottom? Red. That's right. The Netherlands flag. Right, girls and boys. I think it's time for the map. Where is it on the map? So we know 
here is Australia. And way over here in Europe is the Netherlands. So it's this little yellow country on this map here. There's the Netherlands. Is it close to Australia or far away? There's the Netherlands and there's Australia. It's far away, isn't it? Right, I'll be ready for another song. Let's sing Little Peter Rabbit. Do you know that song? Have you got your rabbit ears up? Ready? Little Peter Rabbit had a fly upon his nose. And then he had a thorn in his toe. Ouch! Let's sing. Little Peter Rabbit had a fly upon his nose. Little Peter Rabbit had a fly upon his nose. Little Peter Rabbit had a fly upon his nose. So he flipped it and he flopped it and the fly flew away. Little Peter Rabbit had a thorn in his toe. Ouch! Little Peter Rabbit had a thorn in his toe. Ouch! Little Peter Rabbit had a thorn in his toe. Ouch! So he pulled it and he pulled it and it came right out. Ouch! Poor little Peter Rabbit. Well done everyone. Great job. Let's learn some language from the Netherlands now. And in the Netherlands, they speak Dutch. Can you say that? Dutch, the Dutch language. To say hello or good day, it is Hoogendag. Can you say that? Hoogendag. And to say goodbye, it's Totsiens. Totsiens. That's fairly easy, isn't it? Totsiens. And to thank, to say thank you, they say Dankuvel. Dankuvel. Thank you very much. Dankuvel. Great job, everyone. It's time for a new, another song. It's a new song. It is a Dutch song, a song from the Netherlands. I'm going to sing it in English, and you might like to. Find it on the internet through the link that we link to our little languages story session. So it's called Fish in the Water. Are you ready? We'll sing it twice through. Here's my fish, and my fish is going to help me sing it. Are you ready? Little fish, little fish in the water, little fish, little fish in the bowl, little fish, little fish can't speak, little fish, little fish turn around. Here goes our fish. Can we sing it again? Little fish, little fish in the water, little fish, little fish in the bowl, little fish, little fish can't speak, little fish, little fish turn around. And that's our new song that we've learnt today from the Netherlands. Good job everyone, give yourselves a clap. Now let's sing our counting song with the numbers one to five in Dutch. So instead of Johnny works with one hammer, it's going to be Johnny works with ein hammer. Ein. Are you ready? Johnny works with ein hammer, ein hammer, ein hammer. Johnny works with ein hammer, then he works with vey. Johnny works with vey hammers, vey hammers, vey hammers. Johnny works with vey hammers, then he works with dry. 
Johnny Wex, we dry, ham is dry, ham is dry, ham is Johnny Wex, we dry, ham is then he works with Via. Johnny Wex, with Via, ham is Via, ham is Via, ham is Johnny Wex, with Via, ham is then he works with Vife. Johnny Wex, with Vife, ham is Vife, ham is Vife, ham is Johnny Wex, with Vife, ham is then he goes to sleep. Great job, everyone. Give yourselves a clap. That was terrific. The story we're reading today is about Miffy the rabbit. Have you heard of Miffy before? She is Dutch. Dick Bruner, who wrote all the Miffy books, is Dutch. He's from the Netherlands. That's why we're reading Sweet Dreams Miffy today. In Dutch, Miffy is Mincha. Mincha. Sweet Dreams Miffy. Five more minutes until bedtime, Miffy. Mummy Bunny said one evening. Hmm, I can do a lot in five minutes, Miffy thought. She put on her crown and pretended to be the queen. She drew a picture. Miffy wanted to play some more, but she was getting sleepy. Her body felt heavy and her eyelids started to close. Do you feel like that sometimes when you're sleepy? Miffy cleaned up her toys and put them away in her toy box. Mummy Bunny gathered Miffy up in her arms. Time to get ready for bed, Mummy Bunny said. First, Miffy, Miffy had a bath. Miffy liked bath time. The water was warm and the soap bubbles tickled her nose. Do you like having a bath? Then Miffy dried off with a towel. She picked out some pyjamas and put them on. I feel so nice and cosy, thought Miffy. Then it was time for Miffy to brush her teeth. Afterwards, she went to the potty and washed her hands. Miffy was ready for bed. Almost. Miffy needed her teddy bear. She scooped him up and gave him a big hug. Do you have a teddy that you take to bed with you? Miffy and her teddy settled down for a story. Daddy Bunny read a book while Miffy listened carefully. When the story was over, Daddy and Mummy Bunny gave kisses and cuddles. Then Mummy Bunny turned out the lights in Miffy's room. At first, Miffy felt wide awake. But as she closed her eyes and snuggled into her bed, Miffy drifted off to sleep. Sweet dreams, Miffy. And that's the end of the story. Did you like that? That's the end of Little Languages for this week, everyone. I hope you've enjoyed travelling to the Netherlands with me. Some activities you might like to have a little try. Remember in the story, Miffy put on a crown. She had some dress-ups. Do you have any dress-ups at your house? You could do some dressing up at your house. You could also draw a picture of Miffy. Maybe you could draw a picture of her on the moon. 
she was tired, wasn't she, when she went to sleep? You could also have a look online with your grown-up. Look up the fish song, the Dutch fish song. Fish in the water. There's so many other things to learn about the Netherlands. I wonder what else you can discover. Tulips and clogs and windmills. There's lots to learn. Until next time, everyone, have a great week. Totsie ends. Totsie ends.